Hi everybody, Steven Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Comes Alive, and I've been doing a little bit of work off camera, so I'm going to walk around and give you a quick show of what I've done. I think I did this last episode, I cut away all the wood there so that my bed would not be, no, would not be forever blocked. Thanks, uh, Minecraft Comes Alive, like, like I love the house that you built, but it, it blocks your bed. So, uh, as you can see, I've got a bunch of steak in there. Well, if you, if you take a look outside... Oh, Jesus, we don't want to look outside. Actually, I think maybe I should get rid of that pressure plate. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, I... The, the, bleh, 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 bleh. Let's actually, I want to make a couple of... Uh, do I have any pressure plates made? I have one. Uh. We, wait, we have carpenter's blocks on this, don't we? Uh, okay, let's, uh... Carpenter... How do I make a carpenter's pressure plate? It's with two carpenter blocks. Okay, and that is made with sticks surrounded by wood. Give me five. Gotcha. So let's, let's do that. Sorry guys, I should have done this, uh, beforehand. But I wasn't thinking. Okay, uh, is that going to be enough? That gave me ten, which is going to give me five. Five is good. Okay, and now I'm going to need some dirt. Ooh, actually, I kind of want some grass. Oh, this is bad. I wanted grass. Oh, well, we're going to have to use dirt. It's going to have to be dirt for now. So what we're going to do, uh, as you can see, I fenced off an area out here, uh, made it a little bit safer, made it some lights. Now I have uh, constructed a few gates so we can get out. So I'm going to lay a carpenter's gate there and make it look like dirt. And we have a big gate here for this side. So we'll double it up and make them look like dirt. I, really? I didn't grab enough dirt? Hold something in your hand, Flag, so your, your hand doesn't flash anymore. Uh, dirt? Why didn't I have enough dirt? So yes, uh, so I have created, uh, we got a couple of, couple of, uh, gates here. And I went out and I searched for animals. So we are not at a lack of meat or leather now. So we've got our animals. I, I got... Three chickens, actually. Chickens were easy, because all I had to do was get one, and then I could just break eggs. Uh, the sheep were easy, because there are lots of sheep nearby. Uh, the cows weren't so bad. The pigs, I had to go pretty far to go get them. But in the end, it all turned out. We got the pigs. We got, we got everything. So, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to need a small farm. Now, hopefully we saved ourselves a lot of seed. We only have five seeds. Are you fucking kidding me? We only have five... There's no way we only have five seeds. After all the stuff we were breaking out there, we only have five seeds? Bull crap. How did... Okay. All right. Anyway. So, uh, we got our thomium hoe that we got out of a bag somewhere. Let's go out. Drop this pressure plate in there. Uh, and I got my bucket. Where's a good place for a farm? Put it in the corners. Let's put it over here. We'll put it in this corner. And it's just going to be a small farm. So let's... How, how do we want to do this? Do we want to put it dead against the... Oh, uh, yeah, let's... One, two... Three... Uh, actually, I, I've changed my mind. I want to do it like this. Oh, hey, I got a hole in here. Uh, god damn, it's been so long since I've done standard Minecraft, guys. I've been doing Minecraft with, uh, with the book for so long that I didn't really have to plan when I did an episode. I just sort of have to go, okay, we're just, we're going to go along in the quest book and work on quest stuff. It doesn't really work like that anymore. 
Uh, now, now I actually have to sit down and go, oh, what mods do we have in this pack? Oh, okay, uh, so what are we gonna do today? And more or less for, like, our first, god, almost ten episodes, we're gonna be, this is what we're gonna be doing. This is the stupidest looking farm ever. Uh, I did not plan this out well, but it is going to get the job done. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have our farm going. We have our animals. Let's go make some armor so that we don't get our asses handed to us the next time that we go out into the world. And I should have, yeah, I have been collecting up leather because I've been killing cows. So let's make ourselves for some boots and a chest, a tunic, and some pants. Good, I have enough. I've just been randomly going back while I was building the, uh, the fences and just slaughtering cows. And uh, we worked out, it worked out really well because I'm completely out of wheat. Completely out of wheat. I, I went and I stole some wheat from the town. Okay, so, uh, oh shit. Okay, first off, let's put our shit on here. One, two, three, four. All right, got them all on. Let's drop our Thaumium thing off. Now, guys, I did consider moving into town. I, I really thought that would be a good idea. Uh, like, I was, I was like, you know, eventually I am going to want to link to the town. And we're kind of far away from the town. I'm going to have to build, uh, like, a long passage to get there. And it's going to have to be safe and well lit and probably fenced so that... Oh, God damn. Fenced so that uh, we can, you know, get back and forth. Oh, I did leave a piece of tree out there. God, those trees are so hard to destroy. Oh, okay, my gate works. So, uh, I did leave the witch's area there. Uh, there's a very good chance I'm going to destroy it. Because I'm not going to do any witchery in this mob. I don't want to do any witchery. Hey, can I change the speed of my mouse? Ooh, there we go. All right. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. I got a new mouse, guys, and I, uh, I didn't change the DPS on it. Okay, so, uh, we've got that completed. What we are going to be needing is that thing in town. We want to steal <laughs> the Tinker's thing, so let's go do it. That's part of the reason why I considered actually moving into town. It probably would have been easier than, you know, stealing their whole Tinker's thing, because eventually I probably will move into the town if I... If I get to that point where old flag gets hitched and has has some uh, little flaglings. Ah! Evil pumpkin spider. Oh my god, these things are terrible. Oh my god, I really hate you guys. I really hate you guys. Surprisingly, while I was looking for animals, I ran into very few of them. What is that? Is that like a ninja sheep? What do you What do you got on your head, buddy? Dude? GB. G I want it. Give me your hat. GB. All right, we're just... Look, it's... it's oh, shit. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Why are we running to town now? Why do we always do this at the most inconvenient and stupid of times? We're going to get into town, and then the zombies are going to show up, and they're going to... And... Fucking... Doofus who bit me last time is probably going to try to bite me again. I can't even remember his name. Am I even going the right way? I don't think I'm... Where am I? I'm not even going the right way. I'm way out in the middle of the woods. Oh, okay. Get home. Get back home before the monsters come out. We really need to make some road signs or something or I need to actually get used to this new map mod I, I what is it called map map writer map maker I, I don't know what it's called but it's not my favorite I've been using journey map for so long I really like journey map and, I, and I, there is still a very big possibility I'm going to throw journey map into this mod pack um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to corrupt my save because it's going to be looking for the other mod uh, but uh, you know I'm going to test it and we'll see because um, I really prefer that other map mod. I can hear the hear you out there. Now hopefully uh, by fencing this area off and not allowing where's oh, over here. 
by uh, perfect. By doing this, uh, hopefully it's going to keep the monsters far enough away that we're going to be able to sleep. Know what I'm saying? Eat this stuff and whatever this crap is. And let's oh, we got more steak. Let's cook some lamb chops. Upstairs we go. Sleep. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm happy. I am happy. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Now, which fucking way is town? Town is... Okay, there's uh, whatever that thing is over... Okay, that's me. We have to go south. So we need to go this way to go to town, right? Right? Am I right? That's right. This is great. I'm still, I am having one heck of a fun time, guys, now, now that I can, uh... I'm not afraid that I'm going to do too much and crash my Minecraft client because my PC can't handle it, because now my PC can't handle it. Uh, my PC can handle quite a bit. Uh, to, to be honest, like, I, I'm playing Arkham Knight at maximum settings, and it looks amazing. Oh, and to, for those of you on PC that can't get Arkham Knight to work, uh, let, let me explain something to you. Um, I, I did a lot of looking around on the internet, and a lot of people gave us explanations as to why the program wasn't working. Uh, and I tried all these fixes, and none of them would work. So I decided to explore these settings myself. Well, when Steam installs the game, uh, th what happens is uh, Arkham Knight actually saves into two different areas. It saves on the Steam cloud, but it also saves in your My Documents folder. Now, if you go to your My Documents folder and look at the folder called WB Games, it's set to Read Only, which is ridiculous. Of course, that's why the game crashes, because it's realizing, hey, I got nowhere to save. Uh, so I, you s just go to that folder and set it to read write. Boom, game works. Okay, got it? That's all you gotta do for Arkham Knight, guys. I almost made a video to explain it because everybody, this convoluted idea is like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this. Now, of course, I mean, I am running on a very powerful PC right now. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've got six cores. Uh, I'm running 16 gigs of RAM. I'm using a, a high-end AMD card. Um, which is weird because, uh, I mean, it's AMD. I'm used to NVIDIA. Uh, AMD is a little different to get used to. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, now I, I'm, I'm still recording this using my old headset, and I, I think I've talked about this before. Uh, I bought myself a Cloud Core, Cloud Core X headset. That's what, I, that's what I'm using. And the microphone levels are so incredibly low on it. I've set all of my stuff to maximum. I can't use microphone boost, because the second I use microphone boost, all you guys are going to hear in the background while I talk is... Because it picks up so much air. Now, you can turn the noise suppression on, but then all of a sudden, you sound like shit. So, if you guys have any fixes, you know how to do that without me having to... Like, I don't, I don't want to have to record with Audacity and then set all my levels. If I have to, I will, but that's just not me, guys. That's not the way I like to play. I like to set this stuff up as simply as possible. He says as he as he, <laughs> as he tries to make stuff easier by stealing the uh, stealing the fucking smeltery. It's a it's oh Jesus! Sorry, buddy. It's it's really weird too, guys. Uh, usually I'm I'm used to having like maybe two three games installed on my PC before I run out of room. Right now, I've got, like, uh, I've got Arkham Knight, I've got Star Trek Elite Force, I've got Star Trek Online, I've got three different instances of Minecraft, I've got Alien Isolation, Saints Row 4, uh, Jesus, what else do I have installed right now? Uh, oh, Mass Effect 2, because I modded it up and, uh, threw on a whole bunch of graphic mods, uh, which makes it look amazing. I, I wish that, uh, it was easier to get Mass Effect DLC than having to go to Bioware and buy Bioware points and then spend the bio... <laughs> what a pain in the ass that is. Thanks, EA. Like, uh, EA... Uh, by, uh, Mass Effect is an, is an amazing game and an amazing series, but you guys piss me off. It is so hard to get DLC and... Uh, Jesus. Listen to me just ranting. Oh, look at the fucking shit down here. Look at this. 
Okay, so uh, that's, let's, let's call it for today. Uh, hi, Leonard. Hi. It's nice to see you. Well, now that I've stolen their, <laughs> their smeltery, uh, let's head back home and uh, we'll set this up. So what we'll do is uh, I'll, I'll head back home and I'll do this up myself. Look at me, I'm looking all snazzy. And uh, when we start up again next time, we're going to have our smell tree and uh, I think we're going to have to build a mine. So anyhow, guys, this is uh, Stephen Flagg. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Check you later!